Hey friends, I am recording this Sunday night, October the 15th. I am having surgery in the morning. I have to be at the hospital at 9.45 of St. Vincent, St. Clair here in Pell City. I have shaved my beard off. I'm having thyroid surgery. Uh, four or five years ago, I first started showing first first started showing symptoms of having thyroid problems and I was diagnosed uh, by Dr. Towns, the endocrinologist at St. Vincent's in Birmingham and um, she wanted to do um, nuclear therapy something before I take a, a nuclear iodine pill, a radioactive iodine pill and it would kill my thyroid from inside. At the time I had three nodules each about an inch wide, two centimeters wide. Now I have four nodules. Nodules is a cute term that they use for tumor. It's not cancer. I have had biopsies done and it's from the sarcoidosis that I have. All of the, uh, a lot of the lymph nodes, many, several of the lymph nodes uh, in and on and surrounding my left lung have calcified from the sarcoidosis. Um, that is what has affected my pancreas and caused me to become diabetic. Uh, it's in my uh, liver and my gallbladder as well. Uh, possibly, who knows where else. Uh, don't think it's in my brain. It's not neurological as of yet. Uh, not that we know of. All those scans are clear. But my thyroid gland uh, is, well your thyroid is supposed to be right here. Kind of butterfly shape, kind of thin, located in between the skin on the front of your neck and the, the, the spine and the esophagus and the trachea and all that fun stuff that's inside. So it's supposed to be located right here. And I have it there. Um, but it is a uh, grown downwards. A goiter is an iodine deficiency for the thyroid gets larger at the front and it gets larger. I do this because my mom had a goiter. They say that this is not hereditary. Um, but a goiter is an iodine deficiency. The thyroid gland requires iodine. That's why the radioactive iodine works to treat and kill the thyroid gland. Um, at the time they said your thyroid gland would just be reabsorbed by your body, which is another cute way of saying that's going to rot inside your neck and you're going to be sick for a while until it all goes away. Uh, had I done that then, I probably wouldn't be having the problems now, but I chose not to do it then. Can't go back and redo things. My thyroid gland now is four times larger than it is supposed to be. Uh, the normal... Um, mostly due to the nodules that are growing inside. There are, they say there are too many small nodules to even try to count. There are four nodules that are five centimeters across. That's two inches across. There are four of them. Um, and the fifth one is, is almost three inches wide. Now my thyroid gland is growing downwards to the left. It's behind the clavicle, this, the left collarbone. That three inch nodule, you know, the size of a tennis ball, is sitting right here on top of my heart, in between my heart and my lungs. And it's, you know, it's making all kinds of trouble for me. One of the smaller ones is pushing against my trachea. It's moving my trachea out of the way to the left. So my, my throat gets sore very, very quickly. My voice gets hoarse by the end of the day. Uh, especially yelling at the kids at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, absolutely love that job, and I'm going to miss those kids this week while I'm out of work. Uh, just wanted to let you know that that is what's happening. Uh, so pray for me. I have to be at the hospital at 9.45 in the morning. And, you know, whenever they do the surgery, 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock. Um, so sometime in the morning I will be having surgery. Jonathan is taking me. Jeremiah he, uh, will remain home. Um, Jeremiah is going to feed all of the animals tomorrow. He knows how. He is more than capable. Jonathan has taken off work. Uh, once the surgery is done and I'm in a room, Jonathan will come home and get Jeremiah and then they will come and visit me. Hopefully Catherine will come. I don't know. She lives with her mother. 
now with Daniel. Um, Daniel definitely will not come. Um, my sister and her daughter still live here, so they will probably come see me. So y'all just keep praying for me. Uh, pray that the surgery goes well and pray that my mental health uh, remains stable throughout all of this. Um, I guess that's all. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.